If you want to visit Bandelier National Park, you can take a shuttle from the White Rock Visitor Center, which is right in the back of me. You can also stay the night here. There's a campground for $20 and the shuttle is right here. Almost missed the bus. Bandelier National Monument is located in northern New Mexico, about one hour northwest of Santa Fe and two hours north of Albuquerque. The free shuttle bus takes about 25 minutes from the White Rock Visitor Center to here to the Bandelier National Monument. And the shuttle runs from 9 to 3 from the White Rock Visitor Center and departs here, the last bus, at 5 p.m. And just starting the Pueblo Loop Trail, if you look way up there, you see little caves. And if you have binoculars, you can see that there's actually some petroglyphs in them. They're really, really cool. The Pueblo Loop Trail is a 1.4 mile or 2.2 kilometer loop trail that took us to the Big Kiva, Tioni, Talos House and the Long House. We are here at Friolas Canyon and what you see is a kiva. Kivas were centers for religious and political life for the ancestral Pueblo people and are still important in Pueblo life today. Archaeologists have dated human presence in the region going back over 11,000 years, with permanent settlements starting in Bandelier by ancestral Puebloan people by 1150. By about 1550, the settlement at Bandelier, like many other pueblos in the area, was abandoned. So we climbed our first ladder into a cliff dwelling and I would say that was a good test for the coming one, huh? Well, let's see. But they're everywhere. They're tiny little ones and they are just everywhere here. This reminds us of Uluru and storytelling. It looks like either a kitchen or where the elderly met with the younger and um, told their stories and their traditions. This one looks a little bigger than the last one. Do it. What's that? I can almost stand in here. Look at that. It's not always bad to be little. This is part of what's called the long house. You can see the individual rooms here. And then if you see these holes here, they would have been used to support the, the roof structure.
The unpaved path to the Alcove House was an easy stroll through lush green bushes, which gave us much needed shade in the heat of the day. The extra trail off the main loop trail is half a mile one way and is totally worth it, even if you decide not to climb the steep ladders. So this is where you go up to this cliff dwelling here, and there are several ladders. The Alcove House is located 140 feet or 42 meters above the floor of Riolis Canyon. It was once home to 25 ancestral Pueblo people. You reach the cliff dwelling by climbing four wooden ladders and several stone stairs. I was really freaking out with the height and was not sure if I could make it. But James reminded me of all the incredible things that we have seen in our travels when pushing ourselves out of our comfort zones. Family, how are you doing? I'm not sure. <laughs> this is what we got left. I think there's one more after that. Oh, okay. <laughs> we made it to the top. So far, so good. We still have to go down, but the views from up here are amazing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, they are. We were in awe walking in the footsteps of the ancestral Puebloan people and took our time exploring the alcove house, admiring the view and wondering what life was like here. So I made it up and the best thing, I also made it down. I was super shaky. I'm not that much shaking anymore, still a little bit. I don't know if you can see, but anyways, coming down was worse for me and the ladders and the railings were really hot from the sun. So I was really scared, but I just had my mantra. I got this, I got this and I made it. was probably the worst and the top top one this one so the entry to this park is $25 per car mm -hmm. if you don't have the America the beautiful Europe is for $80 yet and it is a must it is amazing and you're sure you will love it as much as you did. yeah I'd never heard of bandolier but I'll know and remember it now forever We are Maneksha and James, the intrepid traveling golfers behind puttering around the world. With just our backpacks and golf clubs, we set out to travel the world. Subscribe to see where we go to next. <laughs>